hello my good people and welcome and in our today's session i'm going to show you how you can host or in other words how you can deploy um, your website or your web application live so that they can be accessible over the internet that is um, what i'm going to show you today and i have a simple system that i've built using html css and on the back end have used a uh, php and mysql so i'm going to show you how you can end up hosting this kind of a system because i know maybe you did a um, project uh, in your fourth year that is in your final year maybe either you're doing diploma or a certificate or maybe a degree and you want to know how you can deploy this kind of system so i happen to face the same same challenge uh, when i graduated <laughs> from college and uh, it's something that in most cases when you're in uh, especially if you've gone through this um, um, education system here in kenya you realize that uh, it's based on theoretical stuff there is no that practical part of it that you'll get to learn some of the things that we normally do out here yeah, or maybe they are needed out here on the job market so in our today's session i'm going to show you how you can host or deploy your web application and in this case the system is having both the front end and the back end so before we do that in case maybe you are new on this channel i would like to ask you to subscribe on this channel we normally share skills and knowledge on the uh, technologies in this field of it so feel free to subscribe again make sure you give the video a thumbs up that's how you promote our videos and again also make sure you share to as many people as you can because i know you maybe know one or two people who might who might be interested with this kind of content so make sure again you make sure you give the video thumbs up and you share to as many people as you can that's how you support this channel so you can check uh, the uh, the channel is growing <laughs> right now we have got almost uh, 500, uh, 518 subscribers and as you can see the views are growing each and every day and the number of views they have surpassed uh, the number is has gone beyond 10,000 I think we are almost 11,000 something like that so it's one of the fastest growing uh, channel and also the code star it's one of the fastest growing online learning platform here in Kenya and Africa at large uh, maybe you might be asking who I am uh, I'm Eric Banks and uh, I'm the founder of this platform and also I normally run this channel at least to share and educate each other uh, to share knowledge doing this kind of stuff and uh, because I know these are some of the challenges that I've faced before and maybe you might be interested with the same same content so make sure you continue supporting this channel as I said by subscribing like the videos and again share to as many as people as possible in case maybe you are interested to take one of our courses feel free to check our courses here uh, the, uh, the prices are pocket friendly and again in case you need to enroll you just click on the student portal and register once you register you will get a confirmation mail that you are supposed to click to activate your account and log in then enroll in some of our courses and now you'll be able to take our uh, online classes and access some of the content and resources that we have on our online platform so that is it uh, let's not waste a lot of time let's jump in and start now how do you host a website first of all i know maybe most of you you are you know how to develop a soft um, web-based uh, system that is using php mysql or maybe using a python that is Django. Or, or flask or in case maybe using what we refer to as um, um i've said php mysql javascript and python those are some of the common web development uh, programming languages that are out there so how do you deploy them so to deploy that system first of all you need to do, uh, buy a domain name uh, that is step number one so i'm going in steps so first of all you need to have a domain name and one of the places where i normally buy uh, some of my domains is this uh, this um uh, company called truehost they have a branch here in kenya and they have got the best customer care i can tell you that because <laughs> um for the last i know i don't i think my first web um web domain that i bought from them it was back in 2017 somewhere there 
and since then have never looked back i used to use some other companies which i'm not going to mention here but the challenge was in case maybe you have if, in case maybe you are, you are facing some uh, challenges and you need some um, services from the customer care or technical team it becomes a challenge to contact them but this platform is one of the best because you can communicate with them uh, through this uh, stuff here as you can see this chatbot again you can check their domain here and uh, as you can see the price for .co.ke is 599 then you just buy with less than 1000 you have got enough uh, uh, you can buy the domain name and again the next thing that you will need is the hosting uh, space web hosting so for a start if you have got like uh, 1000 it's enough to start with because i don't believe maybe your website is not, uh, that big but in case maybe you might be interested uh, with buying what we refer to as, remember we normally have two types of hosting you can host on a shared host and then, as i said this one will be for the shared host and uh, again also you can buy your whole your own pvs that is virtual private server which as you can see um the price is normally paid monthly basis but as you can see there are uh, i think these uh, these this one you can see on top here you can also buy that one but there is that one that you can pay on monthly basis and i think the cheapest is this one you can see which is goes for 799 per month that is 800 per month so if you are hosting a very sensitive uh, web application uh, you might end up uh, thinking of um, trying how to work with the vps instead of shared host it's more secure and it's something that is not it has got a lot of uh, features which are not limited so first of all make sure you buy a domain and the next thing is uh, the space where you will host your website and as i said this is one of the best platform you can consider i know there are others which are out there and maybe in case um you know some of them which has got good services feel free to share with us on the comment section so uh, domain name next thing is the space that is hosting space if you consider going to do the vps way then you know how to do it just go and make your purchases here and once you purchase now you will get um they will send you they will set up your account and once they set up your account they will send an email that looks like this uh, like this one was the one that i bought i don't know where 2020 january last year it expired and but the client did not uh, think of um, renewing i know it, you, you know we are we are facing hard hard times because of corona uh, virus so that's i think why the client did not bother to renew the uh, domain so this is one of the sample email that i got once after buying that one so you can see you have got the login uh, details for your cpanel and you can click the link and it's going to take you direct to the cpanel but because this one is no longer being used and that's why i just happened to show you uh, so that you can get to see what you normally get after making your purchases from the true host now once you do that now you will click this one and log into the cpanel i will show you using a different one uh, so that i can show you how you can uh, log into the cpanel and now start uploading your website that is deploying your website so let's go back now and check the system that i have and uh, in this case i have a simple system it's just a login uh, system um, and i normally run wamps uh, not the ramp i have got zamp here which you have to make sure it's running so mine is currently running you just need to install to test when you're doing your um, local testing on your machine that is on your local host on your machine you can use either WAMP server or ZAMP to uh, kind of develop your system so this is it you can see the Apache is running MySQL is running FileZilla is not running I cannot upload with FileZilla I'll just use the normal easiest way that uses GUI that is graphical user interface so let's check the system so i'll get local disk c then zamp and uh, you as you always you know that uh, with zamp we normally put our folder for our system here on um, HTT docs so on HTT docs we have got this login this is the one that i want to host so it's a simple system that has got an edX page which has got a login form as you can see this is the login form and uh, the php will return any error in case 
here on this part so you will enter your username and password then you click the login button then this one will get to login.php so let's open login.php so that you can see how it looks like so this is login.php as you can see first of all you need to sanitize because of corona you sanitize your data <laughs> anyway, you have to sanitize your data and once you do that then you check validation and sanitize that is the first thing that you normally do to your system so in case there is a empty username this is the error message that is going to be sent the password is the same as you can see if it is successful then this one is going to proceed to the um, next level which is the index dot p not um supposed to be home dot php where is home dot php uh, once the login is successful the header is going to be home dot php as you can see this one so these are some of the headers that are normally sent in case of any issues to do with the login details now home dot php is this one is like your dashboard but it doesn't have a lot of stuff just going to display hello then the name of your the user then you have got a button to log out in case you log out this is the source code for logout and we have got the style which carries the css for that one so that is our simple system and uh, there is another file that i'm not showed you which is the connection file which is this one so db as you can see uh, use uh, username is um, localhost uh, that not localhost that is the the host is supposed to be localhost then we have got um, the root is the username the password is empty the database is db whatever something like that and this is the connection to the database where the username and passwords are stored so let's check the username and password so that we can make sure now we can be able to uh, move them to the uh, whatever we call what to, to host them so how do you do that you can write localhost then localhost uh, localhost slash php my admin I thought one is enough it's going to open the database and once it opens the database we'll be able to see the test db where is the test db there was the test db here this is the test db uh, database so I can export it uh, so that I can make use of it so I click on export and um, click go because this is the database that I'm going to upload so save it it's supposed to be go to the download but who are the users if I click there uh, the table uh, the database is called test underscore db then it has got users users we have got record banks password is one two three same way to them you can see code star blah 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 and all that so that is our database in case maybe you want to test it locally you just write local um, hosts and i can write slash login like that then i press enter and you can enter wrong details then this is how the error is going to be displayed but i can write erico banks and the password is going to be one two three as i said you click login and as you can see it has gone to the home page then if I log out, it's going back to the index.php. So our system is working properly. So I can put this uh, database of ours uh, because when you export the database, the one that we are going to move it to the online, that is um, to deploy it with. So HTT docs, uh, login, and then paste it here so that I can make use of it. Now, that is it all about our... Um, system i've shown you how our system looks like and i'm going to use another platform here called a limo poll it's one of the um, uh, web address or domain name that I've, i bought for my client as you can see it's empty it doesn't have stuff so slash cpanel that's how you log into cpanel in case maybe you run out those links just click there a link or maybe you can write the domain name slash cpanel then it is going to take you to the cpanel once it takes you to the cpanel as usual you have got the login details like these ones but these ones are not they are totally different as you can see this domain is for ccewm something like that so this is totally different from this one <laughs> i know the top, uh, the video is going to take too long so get used to that now i have logged in 
and once you log in the successful login shows up like that so this is now what we refer to as uh, cpanel this is how it looks like now uh, the first thing that you need to consider is to install an SSL certificate you can use a free one when you scroll downwards you'll see let's encrypt something like this one this is the one that you normally install and once you install that is it's going to put a lock like this one as you can see this one so um, the other part how do you host your website how do you upload your pages you normally look for file manager this one so you normally go to the file file manager then you click this one and once you click that one uh, where do you normally put your your um, how do we call them your system it's normally hosted on PHP MySQL not PHP but uh, public HTML folder that is the folder that carries your system and you can click on upload look there are two ways you can upload you can upload using FileZilla but also you can use this method as I have shown you so I'm going to select files and drag and drop here so where is my system these ones and um, I'm going to highlight all of them except the DB uh, no even DB but not SQL test that all I'm not going to so these ones drag them like that and now I have uploaded as you can see green means that they have been uploaded 100% it's very fast so the next thing is to add the database to create the database so you can go back now in our php mysql now online how do you create the database the database you normally go to php admin here to check whether you have a database but uh, i know very well i don't have a database there so you just need to click database here and here you can write database is going to be login let me just call it login um, then what else you create the database once you create the database you can go back and create user so for the user you can write here um, admin user is going to be admin password um, you can write this is the best password that's how we normally put password this is the best password something like that so they match and it's good to go so I can create the password now the user is created so the next thing is to go back um, to what to the database and enroll at least one user how do you do that uh, who can make use of the database so where do you normally go uh, repair the maximum man. okay that's the maximum number of um, so what do, you, what do we do hit uh, jump to the user we have got um, what we are supposed to do is now jump to the database and to the database you can check the database when you click check the database that is the name of the database and um, that is elimopol login and elimopol underscore admin that is the, pass the, 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 the password so um, the next part is to add the user so that they can be able to make use of the database so how do you do that I can go back there and look for where is MySQL uh, let me go to back there uh, there is something which I'm looking for the like uh, create user add user yeah add user to database so this is the user admin uh, and that is elimopol underscore admin elimopol underscore login so I'll add that user so that they can use the database and you give all uh, them all the privileges like that then you make changes so that was the next step um, creating the database creating the user and add the user to the database and give them the privileges that they are supposed to do now once you do that you are supposed to go back and edit this one so that it can match together with the database so um, how do you do that uh, this was not localhost this one is supposed to be is it localhost yes this one is localhost this one is the elimu elimu paul underscore uh, that is username username was um, admin 
elimu poll underscore admin password is supposed to be elimu poll underscore login because that is the name of our database and that is it no sorry that that this one is the database sorry 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 so the db name where is the db name the db name is going to be that one so this one is going to be this is my best password like that think something like that so this is my best password then I save the changes so now to upload the database because now we just created the database we created the user what we need is now to upload the database so for the database we can just click on the PHP my admin this one it looks similar to the one that uh, we had on the PHP and that is uh, on ZAMP so in that case what do you do uh, you just jump in here you can see we have got elimopol login so on the elimopol login it doesn't have the what we refer to as um, I can highlight elimopol then I'll copy this one and this is where I'm going to make my database to be elimopol underscore uh, elimopol underscore underscore what login that is the name of our database so now to upload it here you just import and uh, I will browse then select where my database is zam HTT docs then login then I will select um, supposed to be elimopol underscore whatever yeah that one then you just click go this is because our database here does not have any table so it's supposed to create those table and as you can see green means that it's successful though these are our users as you can see here so the users are here and everything is now good and up and running so now we can test so that we can check whether uh, limo all dot uh, com then you press enter it's supposed to show has login as you can see this is it uh, the username I can choose like this one and I'll kind of click login so connection failed which means there is a problem with the connection I don't know where the problem is with the connection maybe I forgot the password or what let's check it's good to face these kind of errors so localhost admin underscore elimopol underscore admin uh, the password is this is my best password I don't know whether I'm correct with the password Elimopol underscore login so connection failed uh, what do we do uh, save changes go back close and I will try to check the database uh, password uh, to check whether they match or create a different one that is um, on user Where is the user 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 change password here for the user underscore admin I'll put that one I'll put that one to change password you have changed the password so that is it I think now it's supposed to show me so I can click it like that one two three login so yeah connection is okay right now so as you can see the password is wrong I think I had the wrong password something like that so you can confirm that one the first one's password that we happened to put before so um now it's Erico banks and uh, the password is one two three then you click login so it's supposed to take us to the home page as you can see hello Erico banks I log out something like that and it's good to go uh, even if I test with my phone it's still it's working so that's how you normally host a simple web application using um, like a system that you build using PHP MySQL that's how you normally do it so we have hosted a simple system that is our simple web uh, application that was built using PHP MySQL on our shared host that is on our cPanel 
and uh, now you can see how it works so as i said make sure your file you move them to the C, uh, public html that is file manager then public html you put them inside there then you create your database you create the user uh, make sure you confirm the password then edit your um, connection file uh, so that it can match together with the database and your password and the username then once you do that your system should be uh, be able to go uh, to be up and running so that's how you do it mm, let's get back to see the other stuff about the the, the, the what the let's encrypt ssl this one i think i will do a different video for uh, for the, uh, for that so that you can understand and also there is going to be another video of how you can host a node.js uh, application and also how you can also host either a jankle or maybe a uh, flask so we normally use this one so this is for the js this is for the um, uh, setup for the python they normally kind of look the same that is for the setup for the node.js and setup for the python it is almost the same thing and for the guys maybe who might need to work with the what we refer to as what the wordpress the wordpress installation normally takes place here so you can uh, buy your own domain the price as i said just 1000 is enough for, for a good budget and you can try yourself because these are some of the things that you'll encounter in case you go out they are to look for an uh, for an employment these are some of the things that uh, the employers will be asking for for you so that is it for today's session i know maybe most of you you have learned something so in case maybe you might be having any problem feel free to pause go back <laughs> rewind repeat again rewatch it as many times as possible so that you can get to understand the steps very well so I don't know whether it's very very important for me to repeat the steps but i know if you repeat them uh, in your own way you're going to learn more about it so in case you have got any challenges feel free you can contact me via this um, chat wherever here on our platform you just write to us once you write like that one as you can see you can feel on our phone on my phone it's going to respond immediately and uh, just like that then I can see it so I'll be able to reply to you like for example if I reply this one you'll be able to see the reply immediately so this is how you can contact me easiest way uh, possible uh, in case maybe for the WhatsApp I normally share my contact here down once you can also feel free to do that so this one you can say like yes same an army and you can see it's responded that's how you do it so that is it for today guys remember to give the video thumbs up as i said that's how you promote this video and again uh, feel free to check uh, some other videos that we have here we have amazing video like how to integrate uh, your system with lipana mpesa uh, i'm going to do a complete uh, like a simple e-commerce uh, that will be able to generate even a pdf receipt for that then we also have another video for ussd application we have got uh, things like uh, a simple uh, php desktop application that's create a simple pdf uh, report form for schools uh, we have got so many videos like uh, face recognition systems still i'm working on other machine learning systems how to send sms apis and so forth these are some of the things that you'll never have a cover either in college or university you'll never have a london so that's why i started this platform at least to help each other and at least to share some of the challenges that i faced and maybe to show you what i did and at least where we are heading to so thank you guys uh, as i said make sure you give the video thumbs up that is how you support the video and again in case you have not subscribed kindly do so thank you and god bless you